Hey guys, how are you doing today? Man, it's been ages since I've done a voiceover and today I will be testing every pre-built house that's in this game and I hope I can help you make the right decision if you ever decide to uh, to buy, excuse me, to buy one of these pre-built houses. So let's get right into it. So this is the happy home of Robloxia, it's the house you start with in-game, you have no choice uh, whether to change it or not. So you basically just get it when you first play this game and I would say this house is pretty much worth it, uh, it has everything you need. Of course I would remove the pizza box but it's a fun thing to add. It's made by my dear friend uh, Ice Sailing Souls, he is very good at making houses to be honest. And I just, I like this one, it's it's very small, it's just, it has everything you need, and I wouldn't just, ugh, ugh, I can't, I cannot talk anymore, help me. I wouldn't suggest removing it when you first play the game, because you will get less value back than what it actually is worth. So, I suggest just, uh, kind of get into the game, get into how working goes, how much you make, then see what you want to buy to build your first house and just basically wait because if you remove this house you will be one of those people going around the map I have no house, can I have some money and everyone will be like can you just go away or can you go to another server and it's not it's not so much fun to do then and you will be you will get easily bored of Bloxburg if you have nothing so I suggest keep this house until you have about 30 to 40 thousand in game maybe. It's quite easy to make to be honest, especially with like when the jobs got updated, you make a lot more money. So this is what the layout looks like of the house. So you got this open plan, kitchen, dining and then a living room. It has enough room for one person, especially since the bedroom is a one person bed. You can always change a few things if you like, but I really, really recommend you to keep this house as long as possible. And then you got this bathroom right here. So yeah, uh, do I recommend this house? Yes. Um, and is it worth it? Of course it is worth it because you start with it and it's it's a good house. That's that's basically it. So let's move on to the next house. Okay, so I forgot to rate the previous house. I rated at seven and a half on ten, uh, so it was worth it. And this house is called the Cozy Cottage, and it's uh, valued at twenty thousand. So if you want it, it's not that expensive. The only thing I don't like is when you enter the front porch, you look into the bathroom. So if you're sitting on the toilet, everyone can see you just sit there. But overall, I really do like the style and the vibe of this house. It kind of reminds me of the happy home of Robloxia, the one I showed you before. It's also made by Sailing Souls. So maybe I would change this window or always just keep it closed like this because it comes with uh, privacy blinds. It also has an open plan kitchen, dining and living room and then you get your bathroom right here with your own closet and an ensuite and then of course you get that bathroom right here oh I'm stuck on a bookshelf and then you get another bedroom right here so it comes with two bedrooms which is very nice if you like to role play and you want to have a kid in this game and then it has some nice plants attached to it it's a nice detail the house value is 16,000 so on selling it you will get less of course but that's normal and this is what the plan looks like in build mode so you can remove some details if you want some extra money like the, the coffee cups or whatever um, some builds also use some advanced placement so if you don't have that game pass it's nice when you buy an in-game house it sometimes comes with items that are already already placed in a way you can't place them so also watch out when you remove something uh, sometimes you can't place it back but there's an undo button in this game it's uh, control plus Z so if you accidentally remove something that's that has been placed with advanced placement and you can't place it back you can always press control Z and then just place it back basically so yeah I, I do like the house I rate it seven and a half as well and I do recommend it because it's quite nice and twenty thousand dollars 
is quite easy to make and if you can have a house like that for 20,000 I would definitely do it and you can also build some extra rooms in the back or whatever or build a garden I don't know so yes I do recommend this house let's move on to the next one okay so this next house is called peaceful living it's made by Mike you might know him from Twitter as everything Bloxburg uh, he posts tips and tricks and retweets my houses which I am very thankful for of course uh, this house is valued at 50,000 so you kind of get in that upper region more um, and let's just go inside and see what we find so I do like this plan I don't like the floor to be honest I would make the floor all the same color but I get I get what he tried to do but it's quite nice to be honest like you have your kitchen your dining and your living room it's open plan again and then it's the first house in the list that comes with its own garage which is quite nice I don't like how much clutter he put in here because if you want to buy a house you kind of want to add your own touch to it and buying 50,000 buying a house from fifty thousand dollars might be not worth it if it comes with all this clutter but I mean it's not that expensive uh, I think these spray cans are $200 each, but it adds to the value, of course. Well, that door was kind of glitched. So yeah, you have this tiny space right here, and then you got your red bedroom, which is quite nice. I, I do like this room, and especially for a one-bedroom uh, dorm, this is quite nice. Oh, I think this is a closet. Yes, this is the closet. Very American to put a closet behind a door we don't usually do that in Europe and then you have your own bathroom right here and I think wait yeah there there's no double bedroom in this house which is kinda weird and then you got your nice tiny garden area right here it's wow okay that was that was quite weird that was a bug I'm gonna have to report it I do like this house overall there's some things I would change uh, but for fifty thousand, would I recommend it? Maybe I'm not. I'm not quite sure. I'm on edge with this house. But if you do like the look of it, I would suggest buying it. The house value is thirty-five thousand, and this is what the floor plan looks like. I'm kind of disappointed it doesn't come with two rooms for the value of it. So I would add a room maybe right here which would be quite easy to do and then you can add it like I don't know maybe maybe it wouldn't be easy to do because I just realized you would need to go through the bathroom to enter that room but would I recommend it I don't know I, I just I don't know uh, I don't think it is worth 50,000 and if you use cheaper materials you can easily make this for 20,000 I think so I give this house a six and a half on ten I'm sorry, I I don't I I don't want to be rude. I just want to be honest. So I'm sorry. And there's also a lot of trees which add to the value, and maybe you don't need that. So let's move on to the next house. So this is the classic family home. It comes at seventy five thousand with seventy five thousand. Oh my goodness. Um, <clears throat> which adds on to the value even more it also has a lot of trees and items right here which is quite nice but I would like to add my personal touch being here for building myself so that's quite my thing so let's go inside the house and take a look and see what we find there I do like the colors and the brick outside it's it's quite cute and it has some early colors to it uh, which you might like which you might not like it has a very very large kitchen uh, which can be a good thing can be a bad thing as well and then you got your dining room here I don't like how this area is just blank maybe but it can always happen when you build a house and then suddenly you don't have any room left for something else I do like this hallway between the kitchen and then the living room oh there's a door here why did I not go in there so here's the garage it's quite small but it has all the space you need and then a little hallway towards it which is a nice addition to it of course 
and then you got your living room I don't quite like this living room I don't know why I just have no explanation for it it's a personal opinion of course so if you like it that's fine I mean I, I, I won't fight you for it but it's not it's not my style and then you move on to the bedroom it's a double bedroom it has a desk and there's someone at my door which is very creepy uh, it has an ensuite and then of course right here you got your oh I thought it was a closet apparently it's bookshelves but this house has been in game for quite a while and I don't think wardrobes were added back then so I think Hmm, someone's ringing my door. That's okay. Well, what was I saying? So yeah, I don't think the closets were added back then, so it's quite normal that he just put bookshelves in it. I think this house was made by Coeptus. I'm not quite sure. Sure. Uh, you don't have a door to your garden, so you might want to add that in the future. So I give this house a 7 out of 10, and do I recommend it? Hmm, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't think so since it's quite aged and it come or it misses a lot of features that are or that have been added in the game already. So do I recommend it? If you have a lot of spare money, yes. But if you if you're saving up for a house, I would recommend just buying it yourself. Maybe you can use the layout for it, of course. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like. So it's quite it's quite spacious, but I don't think the space has been used to the maximum. It only comes with one bedroom as well, so and it's quite a big bedroom. You could have maybe made two bedrooms. I'm not quite sure. I might do an upgrade of these house. Ugh, my God! I might do an upgrade of these houses <laughs> and uh, just I don't know rebuild them. You might not like what I do with them as well, <laughs> but I mean. It's 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 a personal opinion, so there's always reason not to accept what I what I'm saying right now. Um, and there is apparently a door to the backyard right here. Okay, let's move on to the next house. So this house is the small suburban. It's made by Mike from Everything Blocksburg again. And what I can tell from the outside, it looks very nice. The only thing I don't like is the fence, which also adds a lot of value to the house because I think it's the most expensive fence you can get. So keep that in mind, but overall, this house looks pretty nice. So let's get inside. Oh, not like this. Oh, I want to see it like that first. So this is the little hallway you got. Oh, I needed that floor thing again, which I don't really like, but that's okay. So this room is the garage. It has room for a car, and he added those shells. I don't like. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mike. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to blame you. I'm so sorry. I'm just giving my honest opinion and you got your uh, living room right here I don't really like how the sofas are placed you kind of have to like go around the entire thing you cannot jump over the seats you know so I would change that and then in this closet you got some clothes and you got a bookshelf I would place a toilet in here personally because uh, it would be nice to have a guest toilet here just at the front door I don't know what this room's purpose is right now. It doesn't really have a purpose, and I don't think anyone would ever enter this room. Maybe if you want to quickly change clothes before leaving the house, I don't know. And then you got your kitchen right here. I do like this kitchen. The only thing I don't like about it is that for this seat, you have to jump over the table or over this tiny part wall here to like be able to sit there so it's not really useful I would place a table more centered so you can use all four seats but that's a personal opinion I do like this garden it's it's very private and I know I said I didn't really like the fence but in the back it looks quite okay so that's that's quite nice and you got a little seating area outside as well and then this is a bedroom. I do like this bedroom. It comes with a computer, oh, a closet, and then yeah, some decorations which are really nice. Uh, which yeah, so you got a closet right here, and then you got another closet right here, maybe for uh, socks and underwear. I'm not quite sure. And then we move on to a second bedroom. It's a, it's quite a nice bedroom to be honest. 
Especially for a kid, I, I would want to have a room like that. It's quite nice. And then you go to your uh, bathroom right here. I do really like this bathroom. I don't like the mirror. But the size is very good and it just has everything you need basically. Would I recommend this house? Yes, but with some changes. Uh, just make it more practical. I would remove one of those uh, sofas right here or couches right here and just basically make it stand, I don't know, just like, like this maybe and then like this and then put your uh, TV right here I don't know, it, I, I'm building a large so I can't really do anything and then place a table maybe here somewhere, I don't know just so you can go around all your uh, four seats and then place a toilet right here so this room is more useful because I don't think anyone will ever use that room. I give this house a seven on seven on ten, and I yeah I do recommend it with some changes, but the changes don't have to be that expensive. So let's move on to the next house. This is the most expensive house you can get in this game. It's uh, valued at two hundred thousand dollars, and it's I think it's the only house remaining from when the game just started. Well, it yeah, it wasn't there when the game just started, but it was one of the first houses that you could buy in game. And back then, two hundred thousand dollars for a house was quite a lot. It's valued at one hundred and thirty-eight thousand, uh, so you won't get as much back. Uh, let's just enter this house. I do like the look of it, uh, but maybe I've seen it too much. So, but it has a pool. I think it's the first pre-built house with a pool, and. I do like the colors and it has a garage stuff like that yeah it's pretty nice then you enter and it has a double doorway inside which adds to of course the value and it looks pretty nice then this room I don't like at all it's just basically some ice and items to add value to the house and the hallway is way too big it reminds me of that one house in Rose Citizens it is just called a mansion there and the hallways are quite big there as well so that kind of reminds me of, of that house and then you got your living room right here also a lot of space is not used here and then you got your little desk area this is a this is quite a nice desk area you got a lot of uh, bookshelves around you and then some yeah your, your desk with some papers on it and you can look outside to the pool and then this room right here is a bedroom so it sits in the front it doesn't come with any curtains or anything else yet because that wasn't added to the game when this house was made also you got another living area inside this bedroom I might split this up into bedrooms when I would do it for myself because I wouldn't use this area as a living area I would just watch TV right here <clears throat> oh did I wait yeah I did okay wait no I didn't I think it has an ensuite as well yeah, it does. Okay, I do like this bathroom. It's uh, it's quite spacious. And I don't think this house has any ceiling lights as well, because that wasn't added in the game as well when this house was built. This is a kitchen. I really, really like this kitchen. It's open and you got a lot of space to do whatever you want. And then this like breakfast bar is pretty, pretty cool. And then this area is just some space used to go to the carriage. It has another bookshelf in it. I really, really love what they did with the lights right here. Um, it's just, it, it adds a touch of personality to the house and I really love it. And then this room right here is another dining area. Uh, it's quite red and pink, uh, not my color palette, but it's, it's a nice room and I just, I would just repaint it but for the rest I really love it but then we go to the backyard and it has a giant pool and then some seating area right here and then this garden area is quite nice as well and it's 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 a very big house would I recommend it no it's not worth two hundred thousand dollars anymore because the house is just so aged that you would need a lot of items that aren't in the house like closets ceiling lights whatever new has been added to the game it also doesn't come with a car so 
you would have to keep in mind that you would have to buy a car as well which adds on top of the budget I would expect for two hundred thousand dollars to at least have a car in my house instead of some useless items in a hallway that add to the value you know so I rate this house a six out of ten because it's too aged and I would suggest maybe making a new mansion for this and yeah, for the rest, I, I kind of do like this house. It's just, it's not worth the price anymore. So guys, that was it for today. I hope I helped you out a little bit in choosing a pre-built house. And I hope this video can get you on the way. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hit that like button down below and subscribe.